Check it out, friends. This is the new Ryobi HP 18 gauge brad nailer. The HP stands for high performance. So this is another version that you can select from. So they have the original one and the HP is a brushless motor where the other one is a brush motor. This has 60% more power and it shoots 350 more nails per charge. So what we're gonna do in this video primarily is just show you all the features of this right here. I'll also refer back to the other one a little bit, which I reviewed. You can see the thumbnail to that. I reviewed it a year ago, so you can click on that. I'll have a link down below. So this right here is running right now 189. The other one is actually on sale for 99. So in this video, I'm hoping you can see which one is right for you because they're both some pretty awesome deals. So let's get into it. All right, so here's a piece of pine base shoe right here, some base molding. So we're going to nail this onto this two by four right here. That's gonna be our primary test. I'm gonna use the 1.5 amp hour battery. This seems to really get quite a few nails with it and it just helps keep the weight down. So if you're wondering the weight of this right here by itself, I have my scale out. Five pounds, 9.7 ounces. We put this 1.5 amp hour battery on. Then we are at six pounds, eight ounces. All right, so let's put a couple nails in this right here. And I am using inch and a quarter nails. This I would say is definitely like the go-to size right here. I have trimmed out a lot of homes and I think inch and a quarter really does a great job. So you might have some circumstances where you need to buy some shorter ones, but this will shoot up to two and one eighth inch nails. So my rule of thumb, if I'm gonna shoot a nail over two inches long, then I'm probably gonna go to my 16 gauge nailer. I have a Ryobi one that's gonna be reviewed very soon, so please subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and tack this down in a few spots. Just put it on there straight. Those are sitting right where I want. So there is a couple different ways to adjust the depth on here. So you have the air gauge up here that is one way of controlling the depth. So I'm not sure how well you can see it, but on this side right here, there's a plus. So if you push that all the way over there, that'll give you the maximum power. If you go over there to the negative, that is the least amount of power. So depending on the material you have, you can adjust the depth right here. This is a fine tune right here. The depth I like to have a nail is just below the surface. So if you wanna get some of that putty, like you can get some colored trim putty so you can rub it into that hole right there just a little bit and that will cover it up completely. So the best thing before you use this on each project is to try to test it in an area that's a little bit inconspicuous or maybe a scrap piece so that way you can get your depth adjusted properly. If you do have to, if you have some that are proud, you have to put them down a little bit, then you might need a nail set, that and a hammer. And if you wanna see what one of my future videos, we're gonna Take a look at this hammer right here, it's titanium. You just tap those in real quick. Doesn't take much. So my other video, I had a lot of comments, a lot of questions, very positive in nature. So some people were concerned that it might jam initially. So what I wanna do is just show you, we're gonna go, like in my other video, we have close to a full sleeve right there of inch and a quarter nails. All right, so there's a switch right here. There's a couple different ways that you can use it. So over here, this is sequential mode. So you have to pull the trigger each time after you press this down into the board. So you have to actually press this down and then pull the trigger. So let's say I hold the trigger right now and I press down, nothing happens. But check this out, if I switch this over there, then we're at contact actuated. So that's what I call bump mode. So if you're pulling the trigger, as soon as you press this down, then it's going to fire. So sometimes when you're in that mode right there, then you're probably gonna notice that you're gonna have to dial up the pressure, maybe even your depth, because it just seems to not drive as deep when you're going fast like that. All right, how about we fire all these nails off right here in the other mode, and then we'll see if we have any jams. And then there's one other thing I wanna point out. So if you can see behind the trigger right here, there's a little button. So your middle finger 
if you pull on that, that will light up this little LED right here. So one thing that I noticed on this version right here, it only has a light on one side where the brushed motor, that one has a light on both sides, which I actually prefer better, but for the most part, I don't really see that big of a deal. The things that I'm working on, I usually have pretty decent lighting anyways. And this one light right here will definitely help you do the job. Okay, so let's just do a row right here, really close to each other. Okay, just had what they call the dry fire lockout. So if you can see that little green line right there, that means that you're low on nails and then you can't fire any off. So that just helps to protect the firing pin. And then it leaves you with four little nails right here. So right there, those are all sitting perfect. All right, so check this out. I didn't do a straight line, but you can at least see the quality of the depth right there. They're all sunk in the way that you want. So after all that rapid fire, I don't notice this warm at all. Just want to point that out. So now we have some more nails, inch and a quarter. We're gonna reload these, piece of cake. We're ready to go again. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to bump mode. We're gonna to try to do a straight line over here as much as possible. This one's probably gonna get a little bit more out of control. All right, so we're gonna start here and work our way back, ready? <laughs> All right, there we go. My arm started getting tired, so I notice as it's getting more tired, I'm pulling it closer to me. It's more of a struggle to keep it further out. Definitely work well, there's no jams. If you do have a jam, let me just show you. Watch this, I'll take the battery out. And it's a toolless jam right here that you can remove it. So you flip that open and you can get to your nail right there. Close it back up. Now, you can reload some other nails. We're gonna try, I don't have anything longer than two inch nails, so we're gonna try these. As I mentioned, this shoots up to 200 eighth inch nail. I was at Home Depot looking, I didn't see any of that length, so I guess I would have to get them shipped to the store or to my house. All right, this is a hardwood board. I believe it's about five eighths inch thick. So we'll put that on top right there, and we'll go through this one, the pine, and then into the two by. We're gonna just go, in the other mode. Oh yeah. So after putting this small piece and having my hands near it, it actually reminded me of just some shop safety when you're using an air nailer. Definitely make sure that your hand is probably at least two times the length of the nail out of the way. Cause there are times like, check this out, you're nailing. And it can just kind of blast out the side right there. Sometimes you can hit something funny inside there. I don't know if it's the grain or maybe like a knot or something. I've just seen where a nail will hit something and curve right out the side. Never expected to do that, but things like that can happen. So definitely keep your hands far enough away that you don't get a nail in one of your fingers. So there's one other thing I was just thinking about pointing out. As you can see, I am running the smallest battery available, the 1.5 amp hour battery. So you can get a bigger battery like a four amp hour or even go up to the six amp hour right here. But from what I understand, there isn't gonna be a power difference if you put this on versus this one right here. So what you're actually getting with the battery, it's resetting the pin and then the power comes from in here, not so much from the battery itself. So the battery is just, as I mentioned, resetting it. So you're gonna get more runtime with something like this but I would rather trade off and have a smaller battery just to keep the weight down. All right, so projects that you have, like some doorstop, some door molding, window molding, or some base shoe or ceiling cove, this right here is gonna work really well for you. If you're gonna get into a heavier project, let's say you're gonna do like some shiplap walls or maybe like some slat board, then you might wanna go to something a little bit heavier duty like this 16 gauge nailer. So just so you know, the video review on this is gonna be coming out soon.